Hi, I'm Dana Jay, and this is Henry Ford Health System News. We're back with more great stories about how our team members are stepping up for our patients, our community, and each other. We're going to start this time at Ford Field because, let's face it, feels like vaccines are the whole ball game these days. Henry Ford is part of the team vaccinating 5,000 people a day at the home of the Detroit Lions. On the day of the first vaccination, more than 110,000 people had already registered for shots. FEMA is handling logistics and vaccinations. Henry Ford Health System is the official medical director. Our ability to impact the community is not about what we do in our four walls. It's about what we do as broadly in the community as possible. So when we think about our nation and our state facing a pandemic, um, it's really important for Henry Ford not only to operate our own vaccination sites, but to participate as the medical oversight for this mass, this mass site. Henry Ford worked with FEMA and other partners in a similar capacity at the beginning of the pandemic, helping to run the COVID field hospital at the TCF Center in Detroit. Now we're going to take a look at the brand new entrance at Henry Ford Allegiance Hospital that's making it easier for patients and visitors to find their way. Today's main lobby is a sneak preview of a six month construction project that began last March. As you can see, our main entrance is covered and has a very modern and artsy feel. We wanted to make sure that it was a very inviting environment for our patients and guests as they came to the main entrance. So as our patients come in the door, uh, we also wanted to make sure that they're greeted right away um, with our information desk. After checking in at the information desk, as you walk around, you can see we designed very private individual registration bays uh, to give people privacy as they come in. What we tried to do is really create an, a welcoming and inviting healing environment. You can see a lot of the bright lights coming in. We wanted to make sure that we incorporated some architectural elements as well as a very modern and collaborative design to give our staff a break, give our physicians a break, allow families and patients to have a place to gather um, and grab a bite to eat. We also wanted to make sure that um, Hank's, our coffee and cafe bar, had a very nice inviting environment uh, for our guests as well as our patients coming to visit us. As you can see, we have grab-go, healthy options, there's a full cappuccino bar, and again, you know, very much a coffee-like feel. Um, what's wonderful about the close proximity to the front door is that we still are going to be doing curbside pharmacy pickup, as well as having designated parking places so that you can wait in your car or run in and grab your pharmacy within close proximity to the main lobby. As we continue down the hallway, you'll reach our new gift shop. This is the new space. Um, it's a little bit smaller, but we actually have a much better opportunity to display more items. We've got brand new displays. We have lots of windows, lots of great lighting, lots of places to um, really get a good look at all of the items that the gift shop now has to offer. Again, as you can see, the natural light coming in, we have more break areas and, and areas that uh, people can grab a snack or a coffee. Very much a modern design and the furniture that was chosen. Again, making it very relaxing, very collaborative space. So the ramp area is extremely important as it connects the main hospital with our professional office building, which connects the cancer center uh, to the main hospital as well. And then our professional office building also contains a lot of our clinics um, for additional outpatient services. Thank you all so much for your patience as we've worked through this construction project, as well as those that gave us input to make sure that it was the best design. Henry Ford's I Care For You Employee Resource Group is helping kids and parents take a break during the day. Weekly kids art club sessions are going strong online. Once a week, school age kids can spend about an hour on an art lesson led by a registered art therapist. 
The projects are meant to develop problem-solving skills, help regulate emotions, build confidence, and of course, they're fun. The art is like a break for me, and then I get to have lunch after. The sessions are open to team members, their families, and the community. And there are art therapy classes and support groups for people of all ages. Weekly Kids Art Club runs through June 11th, and there will be Kids Art Camp June 21st through 25th. It's time for the featured photo, and this time it comes from downriver. Banners near the main entrance at Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital and Brownstown offer team members a place to reflect on a year full of tough love. Messages of gratitude or hope, or the names of loved ones lost, are helping process the pandemic experience. Don't forget, you can send us your photos and news tips. We love hearing from you. The email address is newstips at hfhs.org. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. <laughs>